Hey everyone, this is Talon here in editor mode. Just coming on to let you know that uh, Sarah and I did not get a chance to record a new episode this week. So the audio you are about to hear is actually from our Facebook Live episode that we did on July 25th. So if you haven't seen that yet, this is it. This is the audio portion of it. This is it in uh, one, one dimension, two dimensions. The second dimension, the sound dimension. Sure, let's go with that. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that yet, enjoy the show. We're going to be back with a new episode next week with a special guest. Uh, so also feel free to send in some misconnection stories or browse misconnections and send us your favorites for that episode. All right, enjoy the show. Welcome to the show. Um, so I know, like normally when we play the theme song of the show, it means like time for the show to start. But I still want to banter. Oh, uh, we're bantering. We okay. can banter. No, that's fine. Um, well, was... But welcome to a very special live recording, Facebook live. Facebook live. Complete with all the bells and whistles and and Mishka the crazy dog. So say hi to Mishka, everyone. Good job. Good bud. We're going to just assume you did. Yeah. Um, oh, it looks like people are tuning in. This is exciting. Oh, very exciting. Um, in case you didn't know, uh, that was actually me holding that sign. Well, entire... we alternated. It was me holding that sign the entire intro. So that was um, pretty impressive, I have to say. So this is weird for a couple of reasons. Um, normally when we record, we can edit him out. <laughs> for one. Two. Uh, sitting side to side like this is weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. I was telling Talon before this, this is going to be a real exercise for me because I'm obsessed with my own image and I'm just going to be looking at myself this entire time. I could like switch over to another screen. No, yeah. it's fine. No, it's fine. Okay. You put blinders on me like a bird. Oh God. Like a cap when it's time to go to bed. You know, they have little hats, little full head hats. Mm-hmm. That they put on their heads so they can go to sleep. It's nighttime. Yeah. Because birds are dumb and just think dark means nighttime. Wow. Wow. So I know you hate birds. <laughs> Sorry. But it's one thing to just call the entire bird population. Uh phylum. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Did I use that right? Let me know in the comments. I, I probably so. did. Um Mishka to Craigslist dog, everybody. <laughs> anyway, we got a, a hell of an episode for you. First of all. <laughs> catch oh well. Well, we hello, we've got some noise. Um, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Warren McHenry has gone out. It's fine. It's not it's fine. Cool. I we like can that. Can handle dude. it? Listen, I want to talk about this shirt. Your shirt? You might have noticed this shirt. This is something only for the live audience. This may be released as audio later, but they will not get the enjoyment of seeing. They won't. This shirt. Uh, can I make a guess as to what it is? Okay. It is a weather map. Is it a weather map? Like is a it, weather? Isn't it like a it's weather a map? Topographical like a, map of Utah. Uh, yeah. Showing right the, when Storm uh, Mitchell went through. Her. Tropical storm <laughs> Mitchell Tropical storm passed Mitchell. through Utah. Utah. Yeah, that's it. It's Nailed a wet it. climate. It's so. a wet climate. Um, this is a shirt. Uh, I had. This was from Hawaii when I was there recently. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Sorry, we you don't got to lie. <laughs> Robin spent, says it's a great shirt. Can I just say we spent the entire last episode talking about how Talon got to go to Hawaii, and still he finds ah. a way. To well, let me ruin in, it. Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my mom, part of the deal with this trip was like, my mom, who's an avid photographer, oh. takes, uh, yeah, she's taking some classes, she's, she's pretty good, she's nice. awesome, she's got a nice little oh. set at home, click, um, click. she never gets 
family photos, really, unless she takes them. Mm. Um, so she made the deal with us. That's like, we're I've hired a photographer, and we're going to take family photos, and this is this is the one thing I want. Okay. I want so little. No, that's fair. Um, and there was a color theme that was like blue and gray and and white. I think that was it. That was the color scheme of the shoot. <laughs> blue, gray, and white. Blue, gray, and white. The most fun colors. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. It's like it's fine. Uh, so we have our outfits are blue and gray and white. Uh huh. But my mom also wanted to take a picture wherein. My dad and I were wearing this shirt <laughs> that for some she reason. So kindly picked out. Which, if you can't see it, I will paint a weird picture. It's hideous. It's. <laughs> um, it looks like it looks like uh, it looks like a storm, like a weather map. Yeah. Like I could be standing in front of this and be like, it's, "We've got a cool weather system coming in on the left nipple, uh, and later it may migrate up to the neck." Uh, and then we'll be in real trouble, folks. Yeah, it does look a lot like that. The thing about this shirt also that you can't really see, but you can feel, is the texture. Do you feel this? It's, uh, it's like seersucker, if you know what that is. <laughs> it's, um, it's bad. And I had to put this on, uh, on my very sunburnt body. Oh. Which felt like just hot sandpaper. Why didn't you just make a Brillo pad shirt? That would have been just as comfortable. I wish I had made the shirt. That would have solved a lot of problems. <laughs> Um, but I didn't, and so it just, like, even right now on my nipples, it is harsh. Harsh on your nipples. It is harsh on my nipples. I'm sorry. Um, but I wanted to wear it, because I, I don't know. I wasn't gonna wear this shirt, but then I looked in the closet, and I was like, fuck. You wore it because you wanted to bring up Hawaii again. And we get it. No, no, no. You had a great time. I just thought, we're, we're interacting in a visual medium for the first time, (laughs) so. Why not make it happen? Um, and my dad had a very similar shirt, but the thing is, they're not exactly the same, so the pattern does, like, shift around and change a little mm. bit. Which I feel like, maybe the point of this shirt is that it's unique, but then you stick it right next to a shirt that's pretty close, but not the same, and it's like, that's weird. It just looks sloppy. And then my sister and mom, who were also in the picture, just got to wear their normal blue, white, and gray outfit, so it was like, <laughs> I don't know what this picture is. Maybe I'll like, post it later. Those big low boys, they're just, they're fun. Mm, they got kooky shirts. They got kooky shirts. They're yeah. wild. It's their claim to fame. So that was fun. Um, you know what else is fun? What is fun? That this is our first live episode! Woo! Ah, we've yeah, I got... should have brought an air horn. You should have. Yeah. But you know what? Chance missed. We'll have to do it during live episode number two. And you'll be there. And I will hopefully be there unless I get kicked off as co-host. Who knows how the night may go. No, uh, I... But let me tell you, we've got some exciting things. We've got some new segments we're going to try out. We'll need your help. Live on air for the first time, so stick around. Stick around. Um, we've got some, uh, audience submissions that have been sent in to us. So if you have used our craigcrypod at gmail.com, uh, inbox tonight, maybe the night you get name dropped. Um, and this is also going to be a live exclusive for now. For now. The listening audience who is late to this will receive it much later when all the jokes have been just spoiled on the internet. Oh, I was just like, we'll edit out all the jokes. We'll edit out joke it'll, three. It'll just so, be us breathing and Tom talking about a shirt. We'll so. read the misconnections and that will be the podcast. <laughs> yeah, there'll be no commentary. It's more of a live reading. We thought we'd go in kind of a dramatic direction. Ooh. Um, oh, my boss is listening. All right. Um, Hi. Should we talk? Someone said they like your shirt too. Oh, we should talk about your great shirt. Thank you. I wore this so that I could just sit like this and, have, and just stay right here. Have David Bowie just and just have David the... Bowie watching. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Labyrinth is one of my favorite movies. Uh, it is some fine puppetry. It's great. I will say. Yeah. Uh, I gotta and... say, I saw that cod piece in person. What? At the Did Jim they Henson let you exhibit. Touch it? No, you don't get to touch <laughs> David Bowie's cod piece. <laughs> Um, but it was a oh, spectacle man. to behold. That sounds really magical. They, I've watched a lot of backstage uh, interviews with people from that movie. Yeah. And the costume designer, uh, they straight up asked him, like, was that purposeful? And the costume designer was like, we wanted to make him really attractive. Yeah. And he was like, what's more attractive than a huge wow. bulge? We wanted to make the Goblin King a daddy. <laughs> Did I use that right? Let me know yeah. in the comments. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Did I use daddy correctly? Did I use daddy correctly? <laughs> I regret this already. Uh, I'm um, glad my father isn't watching. 
<laughs> Not yet he isn't. Okay. He still has time to be disappointed in you. Don't oh, worry. Sure, I'm sure. sure. Hey, should we get to um, maybe one of these, the beginnings of these audience interactive bits? Or what do you think should come up next here? Um, I, should we explain I, what this podcast is a little bit? Let's do like that. Like we always do? Uh, hi, this is Craig's Essential Crisis. I'm Tom Bigelow. I'm Sarah Thompson. Uh, this is a journey into America's favorite list, which, uh, in case you didn't know, is Angie's Craigslist. List. What? Okay. Um, it's Craigslist. Oh, shit. And this is going to be a weird episode. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a lot of nanny wanted uh, ads, which is going to be a little uncomfortable. Which is a lot of misconnections, It I'd is, say. honestly, you know, baby play is very popular, so... Oh, you can see just all of our faces <laughs> reacting to everything when we do this. You can see all my shame. I do a lot oh. of shame face. Yeah, uh, me too. And I feel like, uh, you know, I, I'm glad you're going to get to journey along yes. with us. Um, so, yeah, what we do is we read the misconnections from Craigslist. And we actually, we, we provide them for each other to cold read. And then, uh, and then we discuss. And then we discuss. And we learn a lot about each other, about life. About love, I about would love. say, and lust, and everything, everything in between. between. Wow, we didn't even yeah. rehearse that. You know. We're so in sync tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me why. It ain't nothing. Uh, how was your week? I just oh, want to know. Well, I just want to know where you're coming from today. Yeah, uh, it's been, it's been, it's been a mix. It's been all right. It's been okay, good. Ups, Not bad. Ups, I'm like, been downs. looking forward to this. Ups um, and downs. Ups and downs. Nothing special. Just... You know? You know? It's uh, it's a Thursday. <laughs> I see why you just talked about your shirt. This is all it's I have fun. going on. That's okay. Um, no, actually, this is something I'm really looking forward to and, and really proud of. So I've been like, I'm really looking forward to doing this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been sitting in a dark room with this computer for the yeah. past three days waiting for us to turn it on so um, we could live stream yeah. to you. What else? Binged a little... Latest season of Queer Eye. Oh, Great. I have only watched two episodes, but we are two for two with me crying. Oof. So yeah, this one I feel like uh, I feel like the whole season's been like it's community out. leaders and builders and people yeah. who don't do anything for themselves and deserve yeah. a break. Well, the first two like, episodes have. I've watched the beginning of the third, and I was like, this guy's just lazy. Which guy was that guy again? Uh, he was the one where his daughter nominated him. Ooh yeah. Yeah, that guy's just. It was a hard follow-up. After being like, here's a man who was shot. Sorry, spoilers. Spoilers for Queer Eye. <laughs> the second episode, we meet a man who was shot and put in a wheelchair. Uh, and he's like a community activist and a leader. And fucking awesome. And awesome and very buff. <laughs> and we go straight from him into this guy who's just like, I never learned how to take care of myself. My I'm, daughter cooks for me. I'm just a... Uh, she all, is like eight. She, all women exist to just to help me not become a man. He's He, he gets back. <laughs> okay, well, Okay, well, it. this is not a Queer Eye podcast. This is <laughs> as How's much as we wish though? it was. It was good. I um, I think I signed a lease for my place that I'm moving into. That's exciting! Ow! If you've been following Sarah's home hunt. watch. Um, and guess where I found it? Where? Craigslist. And you trust it? I, yeah, I, mean, I do all my house hunting on Craigslist. Here. Can I tell you my favorite house hunting story from Craigslist? Yes. Okay, so when I first moved up to Portland... Um, we like lined up a billion places to see because mm. we were only going to be here for the weekend and we had to like see 90 places. That was a lie. It was like nine places in four days. Yeah. And one of the places we went to was this tiny bungalow and like there was like an older couple who were the, the landlords and they like lived near it and they were the ones renting it out. And we went, uh, <laughs> we went to tour it and it was like a standalone house and it was like mm. tiny and we walk in the front door and uh, as they're letting us in, they're like, oh, well, sometimes, like, we have a son. He's kind of your age. And sometimes he just, like, hangs out in here and while well, it's been empty. And we were like, okay. So we, like, walk in and just a wave of weed smell oh, like, crashes over us like, a, like an absolute river. Mm. Uh, and we're like, all right, okay. Uh, and so we are walking through and we're, like, looking at everything. And we go into the first bedroom and we look on the... <laughs> The whole place is carpeted. We <laughs> we open the first closet and we look on the ground and there's a half-eaten lean cuisine microwave meal tray in there. Mm -hmm. And we just don't bring it up. Like I like point it out to my roommates and we're just like, the fuck? And then we <laughs> close it. And then we go upstairs and we look in the upstairs closet and there is a lean cuisine microwave meal <laughs> tray in that closet. Uh -oh. And every single closet in that house had an eaten lean cuisine meal tray in it because this fucking guy 
would just get high and then go into his, <laughs> and then go to the house his parents were trying to rent out and uh, eat lean cuisines apparently in the closet. <laughs> So that it's was the so weirdest. Good. We immediately were like, yeah, we're not fucking living here because he had a key to the house. Like, what yeah, if one night we woke weird. up and we just heard a God. from one of the closets? Well, first you'd hear a beep. <laughs> That's, that'd be the that was really good. No, ah, as we you. were saying, you might have a career in ASMR. <laughs> But not like ASMR, like, here's me, here's a, I have a bunch of spoons and I'm gonna like hold them up to the microphone. Like, here's me impersonating a bunch of spoons. <laughs> here's me, uh, I'm gonna do a, a kitchen walkthrough for you. Uh, we'll use each appliance as it comes. Oh, oh microwave. Okay, and scene. That was great. Thank this you. This is great visual. That was, uh, yeah, a lot of visual gags that you're missing, you yeah. know, if you're watching this after the fact. Um, yeah. But again, hello. Hi. If you just joined us. Hi. hi. If you're still here <laughs> from the beginning. Great. Hi. We love you. Um, so yeah, let's talk a little bit about some of the special segments we have planned for you today. What do you got planned for us, Sarah? Mm, okay, well, we got some user submissions we'll get to, uh, which I'm really excited to about. Mm -hmm. But we also have something I worked on today at work. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to play a little bit of Miss Connections Mad Libs. Oh, Shit, we're going to make the libs so mad. We're going to piss those libs off. I sound like a far right uh, podcast now. Well, you got the <laughs> microphone. We just need like a green screen behind I'm us. I'm going to piss hand. those libs off. Crooked Hillary needs to go to jail. <laughs> Shit. Do I sound like Alex Jones yet? Close. I really like those YouTube poops they make of Alex Jones where he's just like, ah, ah, ah. It's really good. Yeah, he's good at um, those. <laughs> So, uh, those of you listening are going to get a real treat because mm -hmm. we are going to be using your suggestions to be filling out a Mad Libs during this episode. And then we're going to read it at the end? And then we're going to read it at the end. All right. Um, and these are real misconnections that I stole off the internet uh, and I Mad Libs them. Uh, Talon has not seen them. I have not. So, just to teach you how this is done... We're just going to do a quick uh, misconnection bad libs, and Talon's going to be uh, showing you how we're going to do it. Okay. Cool? Great. All right. <clears throat> so, what I first need is an adjective. Oh, I'm really testing my Don't try to be so clever. Speech. Just. Uh, let's go with. <laughs> it's, a, it's a description. Harry. Okay. That's probably it. That's probably the word, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, I need a verb. Uh, fly. That's always my, my go-to with Mad Libs for some reason. Now you know how I play Mad Libs, so. All right. Uh, and I need another verb. Run. And this is just. I need another verb. <laughs> oh, my God. I only know two verbs. Skate. And then I need an adverb. Quickly? Lovely. I need a body part. Thumb. I'm real worried about this. Um, I need a verb. Let's go with, what haven't I used? Um, cook. I need a location. Pizza Hut. And then that is it. That's it? Okay. So here is... Uh, the Mad Libs. Should I read the normal version ever, or should I just read the Mad Libs version? Let's. I just. Let's I, just, let's just the read Mad the Libs. Mad Libs version. If I really yeah. want to debate how close we got it, and then we'll <laughs> okay. maybe see. All right. So this is how Mad Libs works. He gave this me all these example, things. I demo. plugged them in. Okay. <clears throat> You're Harry. We fly at each other every day and run hello. We skate quickly and we look right into each other's thumbs. <laughs> Your initials are SR and cook very near that Pizza Hut. Yes, you're Harry. See, <laughs> that's indistinguishable that's a from a real misconnection. A, uh, honestly, that actually does sound a lot like a real we misconnection. We cook near the Pizza Hut sounds like we make meth near, near the Pizza, pizza Hut. <laughs> which, let's be honest, people, 
Where are you going to do it? Where are you going to do it? Near You're not going to do it by a Domino's. Uh, sure as shit hell, not going to do it near a Papa John's. <laughs> sure as shit poison. hell. Sure as shit hell. <laughs> sure as shit hell. Um, All so. right. Uh, okay. So, as a congratulations for making it through that torturous explanation, we'll get our first suggestion now. So, whoever comments first gets it. So, be ready. Okay. Um, so, the first suggestion I need is a, a verb. All right, the phone so lines are standing by. Come, give us. A, oh, it just happens on Facebook. Just okay. go ahead a and verb. type a verb into Whoever the comments. Verb and we'll, Whatever we'll verb move along. you want. We'll just any verb. <laughs> any verb from you, the viewer, and then um, from you, and then we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. We'll get there in the end. We will. So when you get the chance, type out a verb. Yep. Uh, and we will put it in. Yeah. Um, should we move on in the meantime Let's move to on. a misconnection? Thank uh, you. We've got one we got a for our Sorry, first one. Thank you. Um, yeah. Should, can I give you a misconnection? We can talk about it. Yeah. Please do. Okay. We'll start nice and easy. This is one I found for you to read. Wonderful. And this is how the show normally goes. <clears throat> El Gallo Magician. Woodstock. You like to make magic with the beans. I'm thinking there might be some magic between us. That's the whole thing. It's That's very the whole short. Thing. Very short and sweet. Um, you do, like to make magic with the beans. Do we know what El Gallo is? No. Pollo's chicken. <laughs> um, Dishwashing? Well, I was just saying, is it a Mexican food restaurant in Portland? I'm assuming it is. El Gallo? El Gallo. Um, I think they're talking about a hot cook at a Mexican food restaurant, is what I'm going to say. I mean, he also must be very good, because he's not just good at cooking, he's a magician. He's a magician. Uh, he makes magic <laughs> specifically with beans. <laughs> which is with beans, which is like, I don't know, I mean, they're not hard to cook. I guess they're not... I mean, they are kind of easy. I would say... Yeah. Yeah. I would say they take some finesse and I, a little bit of help. I've been doing a lot of, uh, I've been making a lot of bean and cheese burritos from scratch. I've been oh, heating up those beans. Brad. No big deal. What do um, you, is that like your depression meal? No, it's just. <laughs> Doesn't everyone have one of those? I mean, I probably do, but it's not that. Mine is crackers and cheese. Crack, that's your depression? That's like, to some people, that's like high Okay, living. relax. It's Ritz crackers and sliced American. Okay, okay. So we can all just. <laughs> yes. So, we can all but it's like Lunchables. It is. That's not so. It's sad Lunchables. Well, um, the point of a depression meal is it's easy to make. Sure. Because yes. you're too weighed down with the weight of the world to lift your arms up and put anything in a pot, honestly. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. Okay, that's fair. Um, I'll get back to what my <laughs> depression, meal, depression is. meal is. Please, uh, the people are wanting to know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I know, for one, it probably is something I don't care about how it looks. <laughs> to be continued. Um, see if you can guess the, the clues to figure out what my depression meal is by the end of the show. Yeah, um, if you have a guess as to what Tom's depression meal is, please comment it. I want to know what you think. I'm going to go with, what would Tom's depression meal? Here's the thing, I eat a lot of garbage I when I'm perfectly happy and, and great. I'm going to go... And undepressed. I'm going to say, like, garlic bread. Ooh, interesting. Although that does take a lot of work if you don't buy it pre-made. So maybe not, I don't know. I feel like that's so... Anyway, um, <laughs> say what, it. What kind of so what, Talon? It's just very that would warm me up and make me feel good. Oh no, no. Oh. Uh, what kind of bean magic? Okay, let me just tell that? you right now. We can all do some bean magic. We can transform beans into gas. Might I just say, <laughs> bean magic means something else in the scheme of what I think personally, but. Can I just complain about Facebook Live for one second? Sure. Is that too meta? No, do it. I don't think the comments scroll down automatically. I don't think they do. And it's, hey, Facebook developers, if you're fucking listening, you need to know this. Fix your comments. Wow. Fix Mark your Zuckerberg comments. is going to He's shut steamed. this down. What He's would you steamed. do? What would you do if Mark Zuckerberg just started Logged commenting? Like, Hi, I'm Facebook. <laughs> Sorry, that had too much emotion for Sorry. it to be Mark Zuckerberg. Hi, I'm Facebook. Huh. And I am also a person. Um, I heard what you said about my website that I made in college. Would um, you like some barbecue? Have you seen that video? 
There's a Facebook Live where he's streaming about making barbecue, and he Yikes. looks like a robot and talks like a robot the whole time. Yeah, that yeah. dude. He's a mess. Yeah. He is not a magician. Not a bean magician. He is not a bean magician. I just want to know what kind of... Where, I mean, we got to go to El Gallo, I, I guess. guess. We, we got to figure out what this bean dish is. Guys, after party at El Gallo. After party Am at I El right? Gallo. Yeah. It's in Woodstock, which is not to give away our secret location and have fans it's show New up York. at Collins It's New York. There's house. a window right there. We're looking down Live at Times New Square. New York. Is that what that is? That's Times Square in there somewhere. Is that New I York? I think that big, bright, like, oh, atomic okay, blast of energy. Never been to New York. Wouldn't know. What? Could be Chernobyl. Haven't you? You haven't? I've never been to New York. I have no what? reason to go. I'm not famous yet. Well, we got to take the show on the road. We're going to New York. We're going to Radio City Music Hall. Um, I just also think so. This Craigslist post mm -hmm. ends with uh, I'm thinking there might be some magic between us, which is smooth as fuck. Like honestly, <laughs> for starting your entry with a line about I guess magic beans, yeah, <laughs> you got there. I just feel like this is a pretty smooth Craigslister. Like usually they're like, you like to make magic with the beans. Can I stick my dick in you? And this one's a little smoother. This yeah. one's a little smoother. You I know, just gotta say, make it's magic very nice. with the beans. I wish you'd make magic with my bean. There you go. Yeah, see that. Oh, that was actually a lot smoother. But oh, I think girl. this person's going for like love, not lust. So okay. we'll have to take it down to a PG thirteen level real quick. So there's some. Chef at a at a place maybe called El Gallo who makes like a bean dish that's out of this fucking world. Find and him on Yelp. Find him on Yelp. Look up fame. Look up El Gallo bean dish and someone let us know what this is. <laughs> Can somebody go there right now and report back, please? You and then they this person goes there has identified the chef behind the magic and is like I gotta get his attention somehow. Wouldn't behoove me to like leave my number on a receipt or something. No. I gotta get to him a way only he'll understand. Behoove me. Behoove me. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, should we get another uh, thing? Um, yeah, let's While do it. While we're going. Um, the next person, we're gonna post it in the comments so that you can read it too. Um, could we please have a location? It can be geographical or non-geographical. So we just need a location, we and we'll take location. whoever writes whoever it first. Comes up first. And okay. Uh, so, um, let's go ahead and do we want to read a user submission? Yes, please. We've had okay. a couple sitting in our inbox. Let's do it. Uh, thank you to everyone who writes in to craigcrypod at gmail.com. Quick plug. That's Craig Cry, C R I, <laughs> as in igloo, pod oh. at gmail.com. I thought we were going to do the whole thing together, and I got left behind. Oof. Um, so this one is from uh, Alexia, who was a recent listener. Hello, Alexia. Thank you so hey, much Alexia. for listening. Hi. Thank you. Um, and this is actually one that uh, is in, there's this magical thing on Craigslist called The Best Ofs. And uh, they just keep a record of all the greatest hits from Craigslist. So I'm going to have Tallinn, this one's a little long, so Oof, okay. buckle in. Uh, I'm going to have Tallinn do a dramatic reading of uh, this voted best of um, wow. Missed Connection. All right. Oof, that is, can you see the wall of text? No. Nope, because <laughs> the screen don't like it. Okay, you see it now. It's a lot. All right. Whew. I didn't know I was going to have This will like... give you time to think of a location. Yes, I'm just going to say it. Give us a... Lo oh, we got one. Boom. Boom. Thanks, Thank Sherry. you. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> you farted during boyhood. MW4M. That's man, woman, for man. Yep. Okay. I know the internet. <clears throat> there we were. Just enjoying a nice, quiet Saturday night at the movies. A slow mover. Linklater's boyhood. Some popcorn, a few sodas, nothing really happens in the film, we found. For about 90 minutes or so, we stare listlessly at the screen. It's a thinking man's film, I say. Beautifully shot, it's about life, and death, and relationships, and things of that nature. Just then, at a brief, carefully timed cinematic pause in the dialogue, an enormous fart from somewhere in the back pierces an otherwise silent movie theater. <laughs> It had the impact of a baseball bat hitting a leather couch, or George Foreman working the heavy bag. Whack. Loud, deep, and masculine. 
The seat cushion heroically absorbed most of the blood, <laughs> but not enough that each and every person in the movie theater instantly burst out into nervous laughter. <laughs> the laughter continued for what felt like a good five minutes until tears streamed down our faces. Even well after the blast, we quietly chuckled to ourselves with a, remember the time that guy <laughs> farted in the movie theater gleam in our eyes? And just like that, with a soft chuckle and a deep breath, we were back into the film. <laughs> Things happened. People drove around Texas. Relationships came and went. There was crying. There was hope. It was as if we had all forgotten about the fart that had brought us together that night. As the sun began to set on screen, the teenage boy, no longer a boy, <laughs> transitions into an adult before our very eyes and looks intently, lustfully into a young girl's eyes as if to lean in for a kiss and brap, <laughs> another fart from the back row. Like two giant hands clapping together, and the screen goes dark. Roll credits. We decided, after laughing our way out of the theater, and all the way home, <laughs> that this was the best movie that we had ever seen. <laughs> I imagined the lone fartist sauntering off into the sunset. His work here done. If only I could say thank you, kind sir. You are truly a master of your craft. Beautifully done. Yeah, was Beautifully done. Really good. Can we cheers to the fartist? To the fartist. To the fartist. Wherever you are. I we're hope not, you're watching. We're not here to do free advertising for any beer companies. If you want us to show your logo, you're going to have to pay us. So. Mm. Oops. Um, that, that was great. It's a work of art that somebody yeah. put... I think my favorite, because it is so visceral and so realistic, is the impact of a baseball bat hitting a leather couch. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Because haven't we all taken a baseball bat to a leather couch? Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Or am I right? It's what kids do. It is. Um. Yeah. God, that. Uh. I would that that specific movie like makes it so much better. Like, if have it you been, seen like, Boyhood? No, but I have no interest in it. <laughs> that's. I'm like, oh, it took, like, what, 10 years to make? That's cool. Is it good, though? I've heard it's not great. It seems like a fun experiment. Like, it's, I should watch it. I will watch it at some point. But, like, it seemed like that was the gimmick, and maybe that was kind of yeah. all there was to it. And it was like, slice, all, slice of life. Like, you're not seeing you're not seeing the graduation. You're seeing the drive home after graduation. Mm. So if that's something that interests you, then... then Liminal you space, do. baby. I'm Liminal sure it's space. Fine. But, like, if it had been, like, I don't know... Avengers Infinity War just would have been like... Brap! Come on. And just, oh, I think it would have been on. funny. Um, Could you imagine when... Uh, no spoilers, never mind. I won't stop. I won't. I won't do it. It's Infinity War, not Endgame. I, that helps. Oh. I, I don't fucking remember which movie is which movie. I don't know. Wow. I don't care. Okay. I truly don't. Well, the point is, a movie like this that just... Needs a, n needs, needs something. A fart. Needs something. Needs that little spice. Why don't they make movies with that um, kind of just already there. Why don't why don't they why don't Zach why Graff it, make a movie where you also hear audience noises throughout the movie? Why doesn't anyone use uh, fart machines anymore? Why doesn't anyone <laughs> just fart openly in public and uh, say nothing anymore? Why are we just so obsessed with no, not listening to each other fart? Hey, when did farts get to be such a bad thing? Around the time Ivory Soap came out. When? It's all connected. Look it up. Find out how find out how <laughs> <laughs> the words I meant to say Tallinn just short circuited he's been so excited for this show he just <sighs> lost it that was good so we got a, a location do we want to move on to the third thing we need for this mad lib we're moving fast but I like it I like it I just want to make sure it gets done okay so uh, our wonderful and fantastic listeners the next thing we're going to need is an adjective an adjective a descriptive word if you will give us an adjective Give us an adjective. Yep, I'm good at typing. <laughs> Look, I have to like reach all the way over here like you a Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein's. I had to make sure I didn't just call him Frankenstein. Yeah. That's incorrect. Ever, all these nerds that listen to us really call us out. It's not a nerdy thing. It's just like a correct thing. Like you wouldn't... You wouldn't call a tissue a Kleenex? Because let me tell you right now, if it is Puffs, it is getting called Kleenex. So. Wow, Puffs is better than Kleenex. Well, if Puffs wants me to say Puffs, they're going to need to pay me. Yeah, that reminds the sponsors. You can contact us again at craigcrypod at gmail.com. We will say your product. We will promote anything. We are anything. not above 
just getting tattoos of your product. We'll do that. We'll use it. Just give us the money. Um, so we need an adjective. We'll give you a minute to think about it. And we got it. Oh, oh, Sherry Lafferty is on top of it. Let me tell you. On Hello. top of it. Um, that was a great submitted uh, misconnection. So thank you, Alexia. That was awesome. Thank you, Alexia. We are. I did uh, not know this treasure trove existed. We feel very blessed to have gotten to hear that, and I really appreciate you and yeah. your choices. So, I know I have another misconnection or two. I know you probably do also. I do. You want me to read a... Yeah, I'll have you read one of mine. Because this is from you. I haven't okay. gotten to read any of yours yet. Yeah, Okay, please. cold reading for the first time. I should have offered... Dot, 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 dot. Southwest. I had my old wrestling singlets listed for sale. You came over to check them out, and when you went to try them on, you asked for help since you had never worn one before and was struggling to figure out how to put it on. Did you want to come check out some of the other stuff I had? <laughs> <laughs> so. I, just, I, I love that he uh, is selling some of his old wrestling singlets. Who wants to buy a used wrestling singlet is my second question. I mean. You sweat in those. Let me tell you, all sorts of bodily fluids have been absorbed by that spandex. Yeah, are they normally expensive? I've never uh, shopped for one. I don't think so. They're just Does the price difference tubes. make it worth it to get a used one? I think apparently to someone it does. Or, as we've learned, it's a euphemism for something else. Because everything on Craigslist misconnections is a well, euphemism. that's the thing. This is, um, what strikes me about this one I think this guy just wants to sell some wrestling singlets. Like, that last line could have been anything. Like, he was like, I should have offered to help you try that singlet on. Do you want to see some of the other things I'm, I'm selling? I, I don't think it was that innocent. I think it was I don't more know. like, sure, I think it was more like, I wish I'd helped you. And then he straps his, he, he snaps his singlet straps. <laughs> helped you put that singlet on. Yeah. Uh, love for you to come check out some of the other things I have, uh. For sale. It beans. I've got beans in the back if you want to buy those. It Now, is that a euphemism? Beans in the back? Beans in the back means what? Beans in the back means I got beans in the back for sale. What? If oh. you know, you know. Well, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's in, it's a boys club. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. And it's wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you could read it that way, but I kind of think this guy just feels like a bad salesman and is like, ah, gosh, you were asking for help. I should have helped you. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, my God. How, how can I make it up to you? Do you want to see some other stuff I'm, I have for sale? Have I ever told you my bad homophobic salesman story? Um, no, tell us. It's not, it's not, I was a, I was a bad salesman, but for a, a good reason. Uh, I used to work. Were you the homophobic you sure? salesman? No, I was a homophobic. Are you sure I haven't told this story? Okay. I don't think so. It's about sandals. When I work at the Santa store? Great. Well, if you forgot, then uh, hopefully all of you forgot, too. Uh, so I used to work in Orange County, California, which is a very conservative, very rich uh, area in Southern California. Specifically, I worked in Newport Beach, which was mm. all of those things. Any place called Newport Beach. Newport Beach, more like. Whoa. Um, so I used to work in Newport Beach, beach at a mall uh, at a shoe store that only sold sandals. Which is such a Southern California thing. I don't think they have those in what the Pacific it? Northwest. Can, you're not going to say what it was called. It was called you? Island Soul. I can say that because they closed down. Ah, uh, yeah. While I was Fuck working you, there, Island Soul. they went out of business. Uh, so uh, I used to work at a sandals only store. And one day this guy came in. He was uh, trying on some sandals. Uh, and for those of you who aren't familiar with California sandal brands, there's a brand called Rainbow. And their logo is like a little rainbow. Mm. And they're like famous leather sandals. Like everyone, every freaking. 13 to 25 year old wants to own a pair because okay. they're cool and hip. Cool. And so this old guy, he's like, I don't know, 50s, uh, not that old, but like not a millennial. Uh, he's like trying on our flip flops and he's like, he's like, man, these feel really good. Like I really like, I might get these. And then he like zoops down to his foot because uh, he sees the tiny rainbow tag on it. And he's mm. like, I can't buy these. Sorry. I can't buy these. I feel like and his, I, his wife I, who yeah. came in with him was like, you can just cut the tag off you know you could just cut the tag off and he's like no because you know what it used to be a symbol of love before they stole it he meant the gays he meant, he meant the, the gays. gays stole the rainbow you know this is ringing a bell i think i may have been i told. might have told this but story. i feel like it was like episode like one two or three so it's, like <laughs> it's fine it was a very formative moment in my life obviously, obviously. And I, I, basically after that point i was just like get the fuck out this is the moment where everything get changed. the fuck out 
for Sarah. And you can get the fuck out. Yeah, and then I never worked in footwear again. <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding, I currently do. So Yeah. Um that does remind me of a time I was in H and M. And yeah, not working there, just just buying stuff. Tell me more. And I was in line, and uh, there's this very stereotypical jock-looking dude. Picture him. You picture him. That's him. That's what he looked like. Okay. Um. Exactly. Josh. Let what? Who'd you say? He's a total Josh. Is what I said. Or a Chad or a um, Derek. De- definitely more of a Josh and a Derek, but I wouldn't rule out Chad. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. So I'm in line. This guy is holding some shirts. He's holding a, a, a pink shirt. And he's like, not in line at all. He's just... Standing near enough. Just standing near enough. He nervous. wants to address the, the cashiers, even though we're <laughs> all in line. He's in the middle of an H&M trying to address God. Because uh, I feel God in this H&M, is yeah. what he says to himself. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I hijacked your story. No, no, no. <laughs> um... No, honestly, while you're doing that, I'm just trying to remember the details. So he's like, yeah, kind of holding his shirt, and he's basically like, uh, "Hey, do you have like a do you have like a men's section?" And the the cashier is like, "This is the men's section." And he's like, he's holding a shirt. And he like looks down, and he's like, "Pink." <laughs> <laughs> and then he makes like this face, just like, <sighs> and then like leaves. <laughs> and everyone in that line, and even like the cashier audibly was like. What a dick. Like, what the hell is this? Oh my god. Where did this guy come from? I'm like, very glad that this is the one visual episode that you could see his reenactment. Because you didn't see that face. It was pretty good. <laughs> Pink? Pink? In my men's section. In my America? No. Oh no. Not Boys me. never wore pink. These colors don't run because if they did run. They'd be pink. They'd be pink. Yeah. And they'd boy, actually be purple because there's a little blue in there too. Yeah. And like, yeah, that is the other thing is like boy fashion used to be dresses. Everyone, kids used to all dress the same and it was dresses. Mm-hmm. Every person wore dresses in and Jesus like long hair. Jesus' time, Jesus was wearing a dress. And he has long hair. No one, and no one, you can't tell from all the pictures and paintings, but that dress was pink. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm meeting your eyes in the screen, and it looks like you're looking right into my eyes, but you're looking here. Right there. Yeah. Sorry, okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's our, uh, those are our deals. Those are our salesman stories. Hey, don't be, like, dumb and kind of homophobic, and, and... Yeah, don't be homophobic. Help make... your friend try his singlet on. Yeah. Next time, keep your... Keep your fragile manhood in check and just fucking help that big ass beefy boy well, we don't, stuff his body into know. that spandex outfit with tiny little straps. Well, we don't know this particular Look him person. right in the nipples and tell him, I respect you. In the nipples? And put this spandex on. Yeah. Okay. Look him right in the freaking nipples. Don't look anyone. Hey guys, you know what time it is? What is the time? It's time to get another word for our medlins. Okay, get ready, audience. We're going to need another word. What are we going to need excited. this time? This time, I'm going to take two in a row. Oh, shit. So we're going to need two adjectives. Two, I wasn't ready to say two adjectives. two adjectives. Two adjectives. Give us two adjectives. Give us two adjectives. Give us two adjectives. Duck tails. Those are neither of those are uh, adjectives. So yeah. don't use either of those. Um, so I got another misconnection for you to read if you want. Do it. Do it to it. Misconnection give you. Okay. This one. Let's read it. Okay. <clears throat> Pabst truck girl, to the cutest badass, wheeling five foot stacks of cans of Chevron, then wheeling that truck. You inspired me to write this because you are exceptionally cute and totally badass. That cabby. And then there's like ten ellipses. Ten of them. I just. That's it. That's the post. <laughs> I just love. Let me just go on a little rant here for just one minute. Please do. Here's a woman living her life, doing her job, slinging cans, and yet she still cannot escape somebody watching her and being like, isn't she cute? She's so cute. Mm-hmm. Can't she just exist and sling her cans in peace? Wheeling five foot stacks of cans at Chevron. Heck, cans. Stacks. Foot. <laughs> We're five. just saying words from the <laughs> Craigslist post. Yeah, we are. Well, you know. Yeah. Um, we need two adjectives just to remind you. Yeah. 
If you're just joining us. If you're feeling like it, give us two adjectives. You can solve the riddle of our gold if you give us two adjectives. Two adjectives. Um, Pat's Truck Girl. Pat's Truck Girl. I mean, on one hand, this is like pretty uh, tame for mm -hmm. a misconnection. Yeah, the Could guy's feeling ex inspired, yeah. not aroused, which is a nice change of pace. He didn't necessarily try and be like, we should hook up or do it or sometime. He just like we wanted should, to... We should do it sometime. Yeah. He just wanted to be like, hey, you're cute and badass, which I, I understand isn't like the yeah, best yeah, thing yeah. to like... Even just badass would have been better. But like, he didn't try and seek anything out. He wants nothing in return. He just was like, I just want to give you a compliment because you inspired me. You're cute. You're cute the way you swing your cans. Yeah, those five foot stacks. Oh, those five foot stacks. Yeah, so yeah, um, that's not so bad, Pap's Truck Girl, Oak Grove. That cabbie. So what does that have? That cabbie? That cabbie. That cabbie. Cab driver. What does that mean? That cab driver? I'm assuming there was a cab driver involved. Oh my god. What if, what if he didn't get to finish writing this? <laughs> he was... He was assassinated upon trying to finish this. <laughs> like, maybe there was a cab driver at the Chevron station that was, like, looking at him funny. And maybe he saw the cab driver looking at Pat's truck girl. Oh, no. And he was going to say something. It was like, that cabbie who is kind of weirding me out. Let me know if he's weirding you out, too. But as he was typing it, the cabbie got out of the car with his with his wrench. And, and just bashed him, him over the head. Like a baseball bat on a leather couch. <laughs> Except the leather couch was a guy's head. Yeah. And the baseball bat was still a bat. Oh, thank you, hey. Randall Lafferty thank and you. Robin Vasquez. I'm thank just you, giving last kids. names out. I hope that's okay with you. If everybody. you're just joining us, we still will need your help later to finish this uh, misconnection Mad Lib. We will. But uh, thank you for playing along. Anyway, yeah, that cabbie. So this poor person. Unless, <gasps> oh, what if he's the cabbie? <laughs> What if this Who's is how he's cabbie? signing off? The person writing this is the cabbie. And that's how he signs off. This is a misconnected person. From that, that cabbie. cabbie. Dude, do you remember, speaking of signing off, do you remember um, email signatures? And I'm not yes. talking professional email signatures. Uh -huh. I'm talking you put your favorite system of a down lyrics after you sign out of your Hotmail For account. For me, that is more specific to like AOL away messages. Can you tell me what your away message was? Oh, God, I had a rotating roster Can of away I, messages. Okay. I had... One of my favorites was, um, it was a whole sentence and there was no space, and then it said, help, I can't find the space bar. <laughs> he started early. He was a comedian from birth. Yeah. He came out of his mom cracking jokes. I do not take credit for that. I'm pretty sure I got that off a website <laughs> that was just like, here's funny away messages to I impress your friends. I definitely had an away message that had to do with, like, join the dark side, we have cookies. That was, like, a big, mm -hmm. big thing. Yeah. Uh, I also, one of my aim handles, uh, was, oh, it was boy. all X's, so it started with an X, and then it had an X between every word, so it was not X quite X sane. Wow. <laughs> Edgy. She's a little, she's a little wild, that girl, <laughs> that 13 year old who wears a trench coat. Nobody's X angel. <laughs> when we get to a thousand subscribers on our podcast, I will post a picture of me in a trench coat. Oh no. It's worth it. I'm well, wearing I'm wearing a fedora too. And probably hiking boots. I have some pictures of me in fedoras. Yeah. It's yeah. worth it. And kangles, but the kangles are alright. Sorry, what? I could rock a kangle. I don't know what that is. A kangle? Can you stop saying kangle? It sounds like kangle. you're saying kangle. Kangle. Like thick ankles is it's what a, I'm about. It's imagining. a Samuel L. Jackson hat. Okay. <laughs> Or a little like a golf Miranda hat? hat is what it was to me. Like a golf sure, hat. like a golf cap, okay. but different. Hey, I see we've got some new listeners. Yeah, Here's we do. Here's the deal, y'all. We're playing Mad Libs with a misconnection right now. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the podcast, we're going to leave read it out loud. Mm -hmm. It's getting down to the wire, so we're going to ask for another suggestion. Uh, so, um, if you feel like it, Go ahead and give us a verb. Give us a verb to finish on this give connection. Us Mad a verb. verbs. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Um, but yeah, that I just I don't think I ever had a signature. I think I mainly had aim yeah. away messages. Yeah. Which were was great. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. It was just it was a hard time to be alive. I'm pretty sure I also had some of the lyrics to Leona Lewis's Bleeding Love. Wow. Uh, yeah, I was really feeling some things. Uh, yeah. Things that I had no right to feel at that age and didn't, wasn't equipped to feel. Yeah. 
You know, this just reminded me that I feel like the next step after AOL was like this thing that tried to be a thing but never really took off. But I had what was it? It was ringback tones. Oh, bruh! I loved wingback tones. What? See, wing wingback wingback tones. So nice one, Emma. I like it. The comedy's built oh, in. Oh man, wait till you hear also, this. <laughs> also, is sex a verb? Do you say I sexed someone? It is now. All right, we're putting you, it in. You can sex someone. I like it. Thank you, Emma. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I had a a ringback tone, and then my ringback tone was a song by Kina Granis, who if you don't know, I don't a, know who that is. No, yeah, most people don't. She's a <laughs> acoustic singer songwriter. Okay. Who, wow, uh, very alternative very, of you. Very popular on YouTube, mm. and I thought she had like the most amazing voice, and I had a big crush on her, and everyone knew it. She had a ring back. So time. embarrassing. Yeah. What if she like didn't like you back? Um, that could never be. It is not answer. possible. Um, I had the opportunity to meet her in a concert one time. Was she in love with you? Uh, she was not in love with me. Well, sorry. Yeah, she's very married. Um, good, good for her. Ringback tones were lit. Ringback tones were lit. It. I, I used to call my best friend every morning because we drove her to school, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know what. Uh, symphony it was, but I still know... Bittersweet uh, Symphony? <laughs> no. Uh, but she also had a You Me at Six song as her ringback tone, which is a deep cut. Nobody's gonna care or know about that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but it was definitely a... That was a strong time for Verizon, hey, I feel. Yeah, well, Verizon, you had a good thing. Bring back ringback tones. Bring tone. back ringback. Bring back ringback. Ring ring That's our new hashtag. Post about hashtag the show. Bring back ringback. Hashtag... Hello, everyone. A live episode thank indeed, you, Thank you, Emma, for um, clarifying that yes, it is a verb. Yeah, it totally because is. Because English major over here didn't know that. So barely. Hey, uh, why don't we get that another, that we're two away from yeah. finishing this bad boy. Could I get a, could I please get an emotion? An emotion. So for all of you just joining, we are doing some misconnections Mad Libs. Uh, I've taken a real misconnection that I found on Craigslist today. On the internet. Taken out some of the words, and we are filling our own in. And uh, we'll see when hijinks uh, mm -hmm. occur from it. Hey, I believe we have another uh, write-in message Yes, here we do. And this one inbox. is international. From across the p -p -p pond. P -p 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 pond. <laughs> I, could, I kind of sputtered out at the end there. It was good. You still tried. From the b b um, This is from from Patrick or Patty as Paddy. I remember him giving me shit for saying Patty. It's Paddy. Oh, Paddy. The do sound. We're gonna get into a lot of um, uh, semantics and, and yeah, we're about to get into some semantics because like, let me tell you right now, he fucking roasted us yeah, in his man. email. Let's hear it. So, um, also, uh. Hi, Patrick's mom. You're a wonderful woman. Hi, Patrick's mom. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, he just said that she listened to us before he ever did. Okay. <laughs> so, so, cool so, mom. Uh, Jude, thank you. You're the best. You're the best. Um, so, uh, Patrick has uh, submitted a request that we call our <laughs> podcast... Craig Listential Crisis, so that all of the Brits can join in, because apparently for some reason you can't say Craig Listential Crisis. Yeah. Or what? That, that was a bad accent. You said the pun doesn't work. And I'm really trying to figure out why that is. I, why, I, how do you pronounce Craig? How do you pronounce Craig, existential? Craig. 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 <laughs> but see, I can't do Patrick's specific accent. I can only do terrible, like, Cockney. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, yeah, Patrick, yeah. if you'd like to record yourself saying Craig's Please existential do. crisis and showing us why it doesn't work, maybe or, we'll take you seriously. Or we're just going to just horribly defecate all over the the wonderful variations that was of the, the English accent. That was the worst could have said that. That's what's <laughs> happening, though, because if we try, we're not... I mean, look, I may be an actor, you sometimes as well, but um, I can't do a perfect accent. I'm not claiming I can. So he says... Oh, well, all right, I'll give it a go. <laughs> No. Nope. Craig's existential crisis. But Craig's I just have to say, we're going to take this um, advice with a grain of salt, because when I was in college, this is when I met Patrick, and we used to go to the grocery store together, and one time we were in the herb aisle, and he had, he had the fucking nerve to say oregano instead of oregano. Yeah. And when I said, I'm sorry, that's just disgusting. <laughs> he went, oh, it's how the Italians can say it. And then he had the nerve to go... It's oregano. And I was like, fuck you, I can do that too. Oregano. So, <laughs> the, he was he thought he could just do it with an Italian accent and I'd yeah. just roll over and take it. Oh, uh, so, man. 
prove to us that Craig Listential Crisis will work because to me, it feels a little more clunky. Yeah. Uh, to all you listeners who just joined, we are still waiting on an emotion. We need you to give us an emotion. Please comment in the comment section, giving us an emotion for our emotion. Missed Connections Mad Libs. We'd love to hear your suggestion because we want you to be a part of it. And if you like it, you can second that emotion. Um, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead, and now that I've totally eviscerated Patrick and told him that his suggestion is a terrible, uh, terrible fucking idea, <laughs> um, you can come on the, uh, next time you come to the U.S., you can guest on our, um, perfect Thank You Sherry Lafferty. Man. Coming in clutch. Wow. Um, next time you're in the States, you can come on this podcast and argue with us about it, but until then, all I have to say to you is... Oregano. I just also feel like Craig's listential crisis doesn't work so well. It here. sounds a little bit more like a disease. Oof. Like Craig Listeria. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. You know I what? Don't second guess yourself. Overwhelmed. Uh, overwhelmed. You know, is an adjective. Sherry's sure, gotten a few dunks in here. I I want to use Brett's suggestion. Okay. This just is one time, Sherry. No. Nothing I get personal. It. It's not. We love you. It's not. I'm Colin not gonna take away. You, but he does love you. I do love you. Since the moment I saw that name flutter up on that screen. It's amazing. Um so, uh, so he has did you say did he have So any, he uh, has um he sent us a bunch of really good suggestions. Oh boy. Um but I thought that I would just pick one, we'll do one now, maybe in the future we'll do a fun across the pond feature and feature more of his suggestions. But and we, we have, can just whole just dig into the UK. Craigslist. Because I know we call it America's favorite list, and I still think that's true. I don't know that it's the, the world's UK's favorite, favorite list. Or well, the world's else. favorite list, maybe. Listen, if you got other lists that are better, sorry, did than... you say listin? I didn't. Well, okay, I did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> read me one of the things he sent. Okay, us, or I'll read it. Read it. You write it. I'll read it. I'm breaking my own rules. Here we go. We chatted at the H and T pawn shop on Parliament Street. Nottingham. Really resisting a strong urge to not read this like Alan Rickman as the sheriff of Nottingham. <laughs> Please don't. Okay. Mm, it's strong. Okay. <laughs> I was pawning my wedding ring. Should I do this in an accent at all? <laughs> you, you can't stop. I won't. Okay. I was Start pawning over. my wedding ring and I heard you say something to with your friend about asking me out. But I guess you were joking around. I thought about saying something to you as to start convo but didn't want to look desperate. If you use snap or do naughty, <laughs> drop me your AKA or just leave contact info here if interested. Live. Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> here's what I've noticed from reading Patrick's four suggestions, which, which I have to say the rest of you aren't going to get to hear, so you just have to trust my opinion on this. Mm -hmm. the, the British are so subtle because let me tell you, she slipped a little bomb into that first sentence. Ooh. I was pawning my wedding ring. That's true. How it That's true. I really didn't think too much about that I, at I all. I know, because they're subtle. Yeah. They're subtle as fuck. Those oh, Brits. I was burying a body and I happened to see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was busy disowning my son and kicking him out onto the street when I saw the most bodacious brunette woman I've ever seen. Her ass went on for days. It went from Parliament Street all the way down to... None. Parliament itself. <laughs> and Big Ben. Mm, that ass could span seven Harry Potter books. That ass bridged the Thames. That ass makes Big Ben look small. That bus isn't the only double-decker I see. Hey, okay, that's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, um, We're giving you, if we have any international British listeners, let me tell you right now, man. we gave you so many good hookup lines for free. I just want there to be a UK version of us and this podcast that is called Craigslistential Crisis. I don't want that because they'd be better at it than us. Would they, though? They're so subtle. They really got subtlety on lock. Okay. I just, was she pawning her wedding ring because they needed the money? Was she pawning her wedding ring because she no longer loves her partner? Did her partner give her a much bigger, better wedding ring that she no longer needs this one? So many questions. So Did many her questions. partner go missing 10 years ago and they just finally pronounced him officially dead and now she can pawn her wedding ring without feeling like a terrible person for not loving him anymore? Is this the last thing she needs to get rid of before she changes her identity and moves away? 
Because let me tell you right now, any of those are good answers. <laughs> okay. What do we need? One more thing we need for this Mad Lib, and then we will read so it. So get your little get your little fingers ready. Let me get my little fingers ready. Uh, so the last thing I need, shockingly, is a verb. That's an action word for all of you who don't know. Um, Give us a verb, quick. Not shaming you, just saying I realize that we haven't made this accessible for everybody. We no, should have been saying what yeah. we needed, and what we need is a verb, which is an action word. Honestly, I was playing a game just the other day, a Jackbox game, that is, it um, sometimes requires you to write in certain parts of speech, and it was mm -hmm. really quizzing me on what I knew <laughs> still. It's like, fuck, It was like, what? give me a present participle, please. Participle? Participle, not participle. Yeah. That's not the right way to say that. I really had to think about uh, adverb for a second. <laughs> Adverb's a hard one. Um, but it's an adjective for a verb, so if that makes it any easier. While we're waiting for our last submission, um, I have a, a good um, submission to end on that I feel comfortable reading. Oh, yeah. Do you have anything else you want me to read? Nah, nah, nah. You, nah, nah, you nah. did all the work today. Okay. So. Well, we're about time. Uh, we're so wrapping up. With we're about a to wrap things. up. Just hang in there. If you stuck from, with us from the beginning, I promise you, it's all gonna pay off because we're gonna read that Mad Libs. Yeah. As soon as we get that five. verb, we still need a verb, and then we will be finished with this Mad Is it you? So Give us a verb. Is it you? In the comments. Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? That's I not. I mean, you would be, listeners. but you'd have to be looking at there. Is it you? Now you can. Is it kinda... you? Is it you? Is it you? There. Okay. okay. Great. Great. Give us a verb. Okay, what do you got? Okay, so this is a submission from Emily. This is what I have been begging for since day one. This is a Craigslist Mix Connection success! Yeah! I am so excited. Thank you so much, Emily, for you, Emily. submitting this. I am amazed. Mm. When I was perfectly single... Messy and confused at the age of 24, I rushed up the stairs of my tiny attic apartment to share on Facebook the beautiful, adorable moment I just shared with a real-life guy. People of various levels of acquaintanceships and friendships com commented suggesting Craigslist misconnections, and my finger was quick to open that additional tab and anonymously write my, <laughs> anonymously write my heart out to complete strangers. My cat took her time to sit next to me, unsurprised that her mom was hyped up once again on who knows what. The post was along the following lines. I was stopped at a traffic light on South Hennepin Street when I turned my car to the right and saw you in your red car. You were already looking over, and I noticed your matching red hair. Instead of us smiling at each other, we had the same instinct to glare at each other, stick at our tongues, and pretend like we were about to race instead. The literal and figurative, ah, oh, nice one, Emily, green light flashed, and off we went while still respectfully abiding by the speed limit. Side to side. Maybe drivers behind us were mad. Maybe they knew sparks were flying. This race lasted for 10 blocks. We had a good thing going until you had the nerve to turn right on Lake Street. I'm sure you had an important, responsible, grown-up purpose, but I am still devastated, and now here I am. If you were my racing partner, please respond telling me what kind of car I was driving, and then perhaps we can race to dinner. Mm. So Emily posted that. Minutes after I posted that, a friend and acquaintance commented on my Facebook post with a link. He posted too! What? While I was reading his very similar story, I got a notification in my inbox and he mailed me his response. Oh my god! Hi, you were driving a car to go smart car. That's really cute and really conscientious of you. <laughs> and yes, yes I was. His name was Ben. He was a talented musician and after school program director and our first date was brunch on Valentine's Day. Wow. Okay, that's heavy. That's yeah. a big decision. Y'all knew this was going somewhere. Ooh, that is, uh, wow. That's, that's a, bold. to have a first date on Valentine's Day. That's I don't think it'd even be rude to be like, let's not do anything until the 15th. Yeah, because like <laughs> that's a lot to handle. Yeah. But you were bold, Emily, and Ben, you were bold too, and I'm really appreciating it. Mm-hmm. Um, so our first date was brunch on Valentine's Day over some delicious red velvet pancakes. Although I had to move Oregon for business school, I'm happy in my new home. We left on great terms, and I wish Ben the very best. Uh, Guys, so it could happen! This is, we've done this uh. podcast for now, this is 27 episodes. This is the one out of, I guess, 100, basically. 100, pretty much. almost 100 misconnections, and I this was the some, success like, story. or something. Thank you, Emily. And congratulations, yes. Emily on Ben, for beating the odds. And although, you know, life 
pulled you apart, life also put you together. Yeah, you got to share that time together. That's really cool. Honestly, I just feel like this is um, this has been me ranting ag not against misconnections, but like it's just the odds are not necessarily in your favor. Lots of things. People still play the lottery. Let me tell you right now. This is true. This is true. This is true. But like to see it actually, you know, it's one thing to know people who play the lottery. It's another thing to know someone who won the lottery. So, so, Emily, you won the fucking lottery. Won the lottery. Congratulations to the both of you. We had our first Craigslist success story. Please, if you have a story, uh, email us at craigcrypod at gmail.com because uh, we want to hear it. We Even if it wasn't it. a success story, I want to hear about it. Yeah, and also uh, definitely want to go ahead and thank Rosie Sherman, who uh, has recorded our theme song for us. She wished that she could, you know, Skype in or play live. We're gonna we're gonna get her next time. If we ever do a live live show and with an audience, we're going to definitely have her there. And um, I don't know, she just play whatever she wants. I don't care. We don't care. We'll let her play whatever she wants. We'll let her play whatever she, she wants. Does she want to play? Yeah. If she just wants to play all of Smash Mouth's catalog. Definitely. We're the only last people to stop her. Yeah. Um. But also, thank you so much for joining us. We're still gonna read our Mad Lib before we so go. Don't, don't run. But thank you so much for being here. Uh, listen, if you like this, we're going to ask you to do something we've never asked anyone to do, which is to not rate us on the iTunes store, but recommend us on Facebook, because that's an option. So if you like this show, go to Facebook. You can even do it right now as you're, uh, you're watching. I know you can, because I tested it out earlier. Um, <laughs> so if you say you can't, you're lying. You're lying. Nobody knows. Um, but recommend this to friends, and, uh, honestly, our uh, people liking this page has, like, surged. In the past few days. I invited a bunch of people to like our page. Yeah, but also, like, it's still awesome. Oh, a little heart! Oh, that was great! So you love oh, us! We that should do cute. this live more often so we can see hearts. I want to be validated. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, also just let people know that uh, we're a cool, funny podcast. and So you know. do rate us on Apple Podcasts is what he's saying. But, he told you not but, to, but, like... I'm not saying don't, don't, but oh, mostly uh -huh. today, focus on the Facebook thing. And, yeah, oh, we got another little Oh, oh my god, keep giving us hearts. It makes me feel so good. This is so nice. <laughs> um, yes, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for watching and listening. Give us your suggestions of misconnection posts or your own stories to craigcrypod at gmail.com. And uh, are we about ready for this mad I think lib? We're ready for this mad lib. Oh my god. All right, guys. This is the product of all of us working together. I am so proud of us. Let's take it away. For those of you who have not been listening this whole time, uh, we have a Mad Lib that we have filled out as a group, as a team, as a family. As a family. Um, wow, somebody is doing all oh of the reacts. God. Someone was mad. What did we do? <laughs> they they thought our take on Pabst Woman was a little too harsh. Um, so this is a Mad Libs that we have created all together. This is a real uh, misconnection that I took from the internet this morning and then replaced some of the words for it. So we did this together. Okay. All right, guys. This is our misconnection sending out to the world. Cute neighbor girl dancing. Whenever I see you outside of our public restroom dancing, I always leave wishing I had dishwashed you more. <laughs> You're sweaty, odorous, and talented. I wouldn't be around, mind being around you more often. You've sexed here for a while now, and I'm overwhelmed I didn't do this sooner. Oh. I escalated behind your car today. <laughs> <laughs> Message me what you look like. Let's exchange numbers. Oh. <laughs> oh. I want to say, I think that escalating behind somebody's car means don't, you got a Don't, don't you got say a boner. it. Don't say you got it. a boner behind their car. I don't know. I think it means like... A couple steps afterwards. I think they bonered behind your car. Yeah, well, you sexed right in front of them. You sexed right in front of them. Uh, and I always leave wishing I had dishwashed people. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, I see uh, we're going to just call out everyone who's commented. Audrey, thank you for tuning in. Emma, thank you for tuning in. Sherry, thank you for tuning in. Brett, thank you for tuning in. Robin, thank you for tuning in. And Alicia, thank you for tuning in. Emma, I already said Emma, didn't I? Uh, uh, Rob, thank you for tuning in. Lucia, thank you for tuning in. David, thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Warren, thank you for tuning in. Thank and you, Trina, thank you. thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Guys, we love you. We're going to write a misconnection about you, and here it is. We love oh, you. Shit. We love you. To that audience, come back. Come we, back again. We don't know what we'll do without you. We'll be back with the normal episode next Thursday, uh, released on Spotify, 
Apple Podcasts, all that jazz. Subscribe. Bye. Bye.